Hi, my name is Ed Thompson. I'm the CTO of Matillion. Uh, today, I'm going to take you through the new features of our latest release, version 140. So let's take a look. The first new feature for Matillion Enterprise Edition customers is the Git integration feature. This feature uses Matillion's built-in version system to create working areas for different developers, where users can perform actions such as commit, create branch, configure remote repository, fetch and push. Available through Matillion's project menu, the Git functionality lets users convert a Matillion project into a Git project, initialize a local repository, or clone a remote repository. Each Matillion version in a Git project points to a specific Git commit. This enables development teams to devise workflows with speed and efficiency. Given the depth of this new feature, check out our support center for additional documentation and resources. Across all platforms, the data transfer component now offers Microsoft SharePoint as a source type, enabling users to pull files from SharePoint and place them into a target type of their choice. Recurly, Snapchat, and Mandrill were made available to Matillion ETL for Redshift users in version 1.39. These data source connectors are now available for BigQuery and Snowflake customers. These components connect to their respective services to load data into your target cloud data warehouse. Users will notice that these staging components offer a streamlined configuration with certain parameters changing depending on the data source that the user selects. Matillion ETL for Amazon Redshift now offers users concurrent connections. Users may experience significant decreases in ETL job completion times by utilizing this increased available bandwidth. To access this feature, simply right-click on environment in the bottom left panel and click on either add or edit environment. Click through the setup wizard to Redshift defaults and you'll see a new option, concurrent connections. Please note this will only be visible and accessible to Enterprise Edition customers. Version 1.40 brings Snowflake users further support for structured data. Similar to the flattened variant component, the new Extract Nested Data component allow users to unpack their nested data. For simple use cases, the Extract Nested Data component offers a graphical interface to simply select the columns you require to be flattened. By choosing the desired fields in this example and then running the component, we can see in the data sample that the extract nested data component has flattened out the original structure of our single column JSON data. Also new in Matillion ETL for Snowflake is support for streams, a Snowflake specific feature. A Snowflake stream lets a user monitor a table for the changes made to its data, rather than having to review the raw data at a given time. To support Snowflake streams, we have two new components. First, we have the Create Stream component, which creates a Snowflake stream on a specified table. In this example, the stream is looking for the table doc underscore table, and our stream is named doc underscore stream. The second component is the Stream Input component. We've chosen doc underscore stream as the stream we're using as our input. And this is analogous with the table input component pointing at doc underscore table. The difference, however, is that the stream is observing the changes made to that table and not the raw data. So if we click sample, we can see which rows have changed as well as the new columns that describe how that data has changed. BigQuery users can now benefit from a bundle of features and components to handle structured data use cases. Matillion ETL for BigQuery now supports nested data in, for example, JSON format. When inputting this data into a table, users must specify in the table metadata that a column is holding nested data and what the structure of that nested data is. In this example, we click the table metadata parameter in either the create table or create external table component and we can see a checkbox labeled Define Nested Metadata. Check this box and the nested metadata will be transposed from a simplified column layout into a tree structure, at which point users can add new structures nested within the tree, along with strings, integers, arrays, and other data types. 
Version 1.40 introduces two new transformation components, Construct Struct and Extract Nested Data. Construct Struct simply takes our flattened data and outputs that data into a structure where we can see the column mapping has been placed into a target column, analogous with a parameter inside our structured data. In this example, we've named the column containing our new structured data, Data. And if we sample this, we can see we have all our existing columns, plus the same columns inside the data structure, as you can see in these column names. The extract nested data component does the opposite, taking the data structure we've made and flattening it back out. So in this instance, if we look at the columns and decide we don't want any of the flat columns in this data pipeline, but we've taken the data structure and its properties, so we can alias these new properties to new columns. When we click Add All, Matillion should detect all properties and output them in the target column of the same name. When we sample the data, we can see that the data prefix is there, but the data prefix is an underscore, not a dot, signifying that this isn't part of the created data structure, but a normal flat column name. So there's an overview of Matillion ETL version 1.40. If you check out the video description, you'll find links to additional resources. And make sure that you read the full release notes on our support center before upgrading. You can also subscribe to this channel for future updates. Thank you very much for watching.